All right, you guys, well, before we get into this video, I just want to take a minute to show you guys the uh, new dive bomb kickback layout chair. So this is a layout blanket that I have just to kind of cover up with, but pretty much this is the dive bomb kickback layout chair. So this thing has an adjustable back on it and you can put it, I don't know how many settings there are, but pretty much it can go straight up and anything from straight up like that to all the way back down. Um, when I'm in the field, I like to run it a few clicks up like this and pretty much what you do, lay down in it like a layout blind and uh, you got armrests and this thing is nice and comfy. All you do is you have this little blanket you throw over you, you blend in really nice in the snow or get a different color blanket. Uh, if you're in a field, plow field, uh, they make different colored blankets. But you're just gonna throw this blanket over you and pull this up obviously however far you want uh, to hide yourself. This thing is awesome. And then when you go to pack up, you don't have have a completely stubbled blind. I just take my blanket here and I'll fold this thing up somewhat nice, something like that. And then this blind, you just pull the back up, drop it down, fold this guy over like this with your blanket in it, just like that. Buckle it up with the buckle on the top. You can throw this guy right on your back and carry your gun, shell bag, and it frees up a ton of hand space and it really makes hunting easy. If you guys wanna check out this blind chair, make sure you guys go down in the description of this video and check out the Dive Bomb Industries link uh, to go check these things out. But that is enough talking. We're gonna get into this video and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. What is up everyone? Welcome back to another goose hunting video. This is going to be one of the last goose hunting videos probably of the season. Uh, the season here in Minnesota and North Dakota is coming to an end. Everything is starting to freeze up and most of the birds are leaving the area but this morning we are out for another morning hunting with pit properties out of fergus falls minnesota i have done a couple videos with these guys that some of you may have seen already if not definitely check those videos out the pit property videos are definitely awesome if you guys want to check these guys out i'm going to link their website in the description down below this video and definitely check their website out if you guys are interested going on a hunt with pit properties. But before we get into this video, I am partnered up with Tidewe. They sell waders, boots, and just a lot of hunting stuff. I am doing a giveaway with Tidewe. We are going to be doing a Christmas giveaway and we are going to be giving away a pair of 600 gram Tidewe waders. I've been using these waders a decent amount throughout the season and I've been very impressed with these waders. If you guys want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel BW Films. It is right below this video. There's a little red box that says subscribe. Make sure you guys click that button and subscribe to the channel and then head over to Tidewee's YouTube channel which is going to be linked in the description below this video. And after you are subscribed to both channels, make sure you guys go down in the comments, comment done, and you guys will be entered in the drawing to win these waders. The winner of the drawing is going to be picked on December 24th. I will let you guys know who the winner is by replying to the comment of the winner of the drawing down below this video. So on the 24th or the day of Christmas, I will let you guys know who the winner is and I will reply to your comment that you comment below this video. We are gonna get into the video now. Me and John are about to walk out to the pits, hop in, there warm up my hands are already freezing it is like five degrees out this morning and uh we're gonna start waiting on these birds it is super cold and the birds have been flying later in the morning hence the reason we are out here in the light already but we got to get out there get our guns loaded get ready and uh wait on these geese we will get back to you when we are out in the pit what's up you little youtuber dude my lens is fogged up i'm screwed i can't film today now Okay, well my camera finally thawed out here. It was uh, pretty frozen from standing outside for like 10 minutes. It is freaking cold out, but we're down in the pit now. It's a lot warmer. We got old Travis here and he's chefing us up some hash browns. He's got the bacon already done. He's making my favorite, the cinnamon swirl French toast right now. And uh, we got Duncan's special sauce over there. It's covered up by a paper towel, but... Did you use Duncan's special sauce or no? No, I left his special sauce for, for the special guy. <laughs> it can only be used by Duncan. But breakfast is almost done, as you can see, and we're gonna get to eating here. And then uh, after that, it's pretty much gonna be sitting down here and waiting on the birds, but it is nice down here. We got a bunch of heaters running and it is nice and toasty. We'll get back to you when the breakfast is done, let you know how Travis did on the chef skills here. And uh, I'm sure it's gonna be good though. We'll see you in a bit. I think they do that with those logs, but they're 150 pounds or more. 
Lord, yeah. So they're going to be destroyed in no reason. All right, well, Travis just got us all dished up, as you can see, and it looks freaking delicious. So I'm going to throw some syrup and ketchup on this stuff. I'm going to dig in here, and then uh, we're going to be waiting on geese. So like I said, it is super cold today. They have been flying later at this pit. They haven't been flying until later in the morning or afternoon. So maybe we'll get some flocks at like 10, 11 o'clock this morning. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait till afternoon, and we're going to have a long uh, day in the pit here. But it's warm. We got food, and I'm not complaining about that. So... We're gonna eat this breakfast and then we're gonna wait on these geese. Pop my head on, look the other way. All right, well, as you guys saw, those two geese did it absolutely perfect. It's been super slow this morning. Those were actually the first geese that we have saw this morning. A few ducks got up, but that was about it. And unfortunately, duck is closed here, so we can only shoot geese right now. But there was a four pack of geese, two of them dropped down, came right into the spread, as you saw. These guys shot both of those geese. It is about 11 or 12 o'clock right now. It's gonna be slow here for the next few hours, but once they start flying, if they do it like that, I think this is gonna be a good day. What do you think, John? Do you like that? They go with some more yeah. French toast. Yeah. Ooh. There is French toast over there, but I think it's cold. Yeah, the breakfast, by the way, Travis is cooking. But we'll see you guys when there's more geese coming in. <laughs> There it is. Okay, well we just got all the birds cleaned up from that last volley there. I think, what did we get John? I think we got four birds out of that? Something like that? Four. Yep. I think we got four geese out of that last little volley or group of birds that came around us. And that was pretty hectic. We had probably uh, six different flocks of geese get up, uh, a bunch of different groups get up, and they were all kind of working us at the same time, and we had a few, obviously, that you saw that did it absolutely perfect and tried putting down right at the end of the spread, but everything has been trying to land on this end of the spread, and I'm filming, of course, I'm not really even shooting, just John shooting, and he kind of sucks today, but we switched the spread up a little bit, hopefully it's going to center these geese up, but we got more geese coming right now, so we're going to get some more geese here.
go. That was good. Three. That was good. They set up pretty nice. Those ones came from behind us. They did a couple 360s. 360s. And the boys got three more down. There's a lot Beep. of birds flying right now, though, dude. There is, yeah. There's a lot of geese out right now. Yeah. I bet we can pull some more. <laughs> I think so. I think you did too. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's <laughs> lit, bro. Oh, more geese. All right, well, that was the one time I shot today. I might shoot one more time here, but uh, that was pretty good shooting, but uh, that was a really close good shot. Those things were at like 15 yards. These things are landing right in front of us. This is insane. Where is it? Oh. I'm like, where is that thing? I didn't even see it. That one was super close, eh? Yeah, that one was close. A little bit too close. You should have been the shooter on that one. Maybe I should. I had to wait. It was like right here, and I was like, I can't shoot over you. I can't shoot over you. Leaned over as far as I could. Boom. Alright, well, these have been doing it pretty decent, but there's still a ton of birds flying and we're going to try to shoot some more geese here. No! I don't have any more shells. Jeez. I would have, oh my god. Dude, I didn't even Those see ones are the banded ones. Well, John made a rookie mistake on those oh, ones, and there was God. two that got up right here that uh, he didn't have his gun fully loaded, Damn. and two snuck out the right side. So I guess I'm going to have to start shooting again, because this is getting embarrassing for John, anyways. Those ones were banded, too, the ones I didn't get to shoot at. For sure they were banded. Okay. Look at him. Sick clip with the ducks coming in behind it though. Yeah, actually. was that gnarly? They got a little snow flurry going on right now. Yeah, that, that's nice. Like, dude, we're some grinders. Yeah, so like John said, we got a little bit of snow rolling in here. These geese are coming in pretty decent now that this snow started. So 
That was a pretty cool clip though with the ducks coming in behind the geese like that. Good shot, good shooting boys. And just like that, we're limited. All right, well, uh, John just shot the last two geese of our limit, and this has been a great day goose hunting with Pit Properties. We're gonna get these birds cleaned up, and we're gonna pile them up and show you guys the geese we ended up with. Uh, but this was a really fun day. This morning we had breakfast, chilled in the pits, and kind of BS'd with everyone, and then the geese started flying, and it has been action-packed since then. So this was a great day out here with Pit Properties. <laughs> Send him the juices! Is that it? <laughs> yeah, so screw it. Andy, you walked like a mile for that thing. No, it was a long way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was the last goose that Andy just walked like a freaking mile to go get down there at the other end of the field. But uh, we had a great day out here and we picked our limit off pretty quick after these geese started flying. This was another great day out here with Pit Properties. If you guys wanna check out Pit Properties or come and book a hunt with these guys, it's an amazing experience, full breakfast in the pits, sometimes lunch if you stay that long, and uh, plenty of geese as you guys saw today. So. They are gonna be linked in the description below this video. Definitely check out Pit Properties if you guys wanna book a hunt out here and I don't think you will regret it. But that is going to wrap this video up and we will see you on the next video.